Hey guys, what's up? It's Monko Zonky, and this is finally the time for my bandos guide that I have put off for way too long. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Bandos in the God Wars dungeon. And since Bandos is the easiest of all the God Wars dungeon bosses, I figured that I normally show the highest tiered gear for all my guides. But in this guide, I am going to show you guys chaotic weapons. Um, just to show you that it is pretty doable, even if you don't have max gear and stuff like Drygors. Um, you can also use magic or range at Bandos, so if you don't have chaotic melee weapons, um, if you have like a chaotic staff, which I would highly recommend to get as your first chaotic um, when you do dungeoneering, if you have that, bring that, then you can mage him just fine, or if you have like a royal crossbow and you really hate dungeoneering, that's your only level 80 weapon, bring that, and that also works. Um, I'm going to use melee just because that's what the majority of people use at Bandos, but range and mage work almost just as well. So for the gear setup that I have in my inventory, I bring four overload flasks, four prayer renewal pl flasks. If you don't have overloads, that's fine. Just bring like two extreme attack flasks, two extreme strength flasks, or you can swap those out for super potions if you don't have extremes. And then in my yak or war tortoise, if you don't have a yak, just bring a few extra food. Um, you won't need any food if you use dragors. If you use chaotix or anything lower tier than dragors, you'll need some food. But mostly you're just going to need prayer potions. Um, if you have the Penance Aura, I'm currently wearing Vampirism. If you have the Penance Aura, bring that. That will help out a lot with your prayer draining. Um, if you don't have the Penance Aura, or if it's recharging like mine is currently, just wear the Vampirism Aura, and that works pretty well as well. Um, bring an extra Familiar in your inventory. Um, if you are using Dragors, you can stay for about four or five yaks. Um, I am not going to be staying that long. I'm going to be telling out as soon as I show you guys how to kill Bandos, so that's why I only have the one just for the video here. I won't be using it. And then also bring Winter Storage Scrolls if you're wearing a War Tortoise. Don't even worry about them, though. Um, since I am using a yak to bank all the bones, I'm not going to need a bone crusher. However, if you have a bone crusher and a demon horn necklace, those are dungeoneering rewards, and you don't have a yak, bring those because those will help restore your prayer points by a lot. Um, so for the gear setup, I'm wearing War Priest because I absolutely love War Priest. I'm addicted to it. Um, it would pro possibly be better to bring um, like Torva armor or Bandos armor. Um, I'm just wearing War Priest because it's my favorite armor in the game. Uh, however, if you don't have this, just wear Bandos armor. If you're on a lower budget or even something like Barrows will work just fine. I have a max cape. Um, you can wear a skill cape. That works pretty well. Or something like a fire cape if you don't have a skill cape. Um, if you have the Mighty Slayer helmet, wear that, uh, unless you have a Torva helmet. Um, but yeah, the Mighty Slayer helmet gets very, very good bonuses, so I'd recommend to wear that, even over a Bandos helmet, just because the defense is so good on it. And I will explain why the defense is so good on the Mighty Slayer helmet in a future video. Um, and I have the Amulet of Fury here. Um, you could swap that out for like a Glory. I have Chaotic Claws, which are the, the best melee chaotic weapons, um, so if you have those, bring those, otherwise bring like a Chaotic Maul or Dual Chaotic Rapier or something like that. If you have dual wield Chaotics, bring those. Dragors obviously have priority. So I'm wearing Verdict's Gloves just for a next item. If you do not have a next item, wear Bandos Gloves and then bring like a Zamorak Arrow in your inventory. If you do have a next item, it's any next item, I'd recommend Boots or Gloves since they're the cheapest one. Uh, wear that if you have like Torva Boots, Torva Gloves, or Virtus, wear that. Do not wear Pernix here, it's a bad idea. And then a uh, six age circuit for my ring. You can swap that out for a ring of wealth. And I have rage fire boots. You can swap those out for bandos boots or something like that. Even ganodermic boots work okay. So with that being said, we're finally done with all the gear setup. It's time to teleport to God Wars and get our kill count. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so I found an empty world at bandos, and we're going to start killing him. So before you go in, just make sure your quick prayers are set. What I would recommend is have Soul Split and Turmoil. If you don't have Soul Split and Turmoil, for example, if you're on regular prayers or something like that, use Protect from Melee and Piety. Piety. However you want to say it, I do not really care. Um, or if you don't have that, just use the Melee Boosting Prayers, I guess. I don't know. Um, so also Protect Item, just in case you DC or something. Uh, the worlds have crashed. I, I've had RuneScape crash once today, and a world completely DC'd on me two days ago. So that's why I'm protecting item. Uh, normally I would not do that. But anyway, before you go in, just drink your overloads or supers or extremes or whatever you have. Turn on your quick prayers and enter the boss room. Let's go. And make sure that um, 
your auto retaliate is off, unlike me, because uh, otherwise bad things might happen. So Bandos is going to hit pretty hard on me because I'm wearing War Priest, and Bandos is almost already almost dead, and that's because someone tellied out of here um, without fully killing Bandos next time. So I'll wait till the next spawn and record a full kill. Alright, Bandos is spawned, and this time we actually should get a drop from him. So after I kill Bandos, um, I'll probably get a Bandos chest play, so just be aware of that. No, I'm just kidding. I don't get very many drops here, but um, the basic strategy is just use your basics. I would recommend just to use the basics that I have right here on my action bar, so if you just want to copy down this action bar, go for it. Um, I will show you a tactic that you can use to make your kills a little bit faster as soon as this kill is done. I didn't want to do it uh, during the previous kill because it's, it's annoying to do, but I'll show you how to... Um, basically adrenaline stall so that you can use berserk at the start of every kill and that will make your kills significantly faster so if you want to do that um, it is really annoying to do and I hate doing it just because um, you can't really AFK between kills but if you want to I'll show you how to do it and you can use this method if someone tries to crash you um, and you have like the same gear and stuff as them they will not be able to crash you because you'll be berserking obviously you can also use this tactic to crash people if you're that kind of person um, but anyway, as soon as this guy's done, I'll show you how to adrenaline. As soon as this minion is dead, I should say, I sh sh I'll show you how to adrenaline install. And I did get a spin ticket off of that first kill, so I'll probably get like a small cash bag. So as soon as your character goes out of combat stat, out of his combat stance, basically when he puts his arms down um, and starts standing around like a doofus, immediately use anticipation. Um, and this guy is not going to get the kill. And as soon as he does it again, use freedom. And now quickly go to your range tab, and as soon as he goes out of the combat stance again, use escape. So it'll be just a second here. Boom, escape. And as you can see, uh, my character is still at full adrenaline, so I will be able to berserk immediately when Bando spawns. So as soon as my character goes to the combat stance again, anticipation. And uh, when, the, when he does it again, freedom should be recharged. So anyway, that's how you adrenaline stall, and that basically just means that you can use Berserk every kill, um, which is very handy uh, and will help you get kills significantly faster. But anyway, Bandos should spawn every second. I think this is a really, really low spawn world because usually the spawn rates are a bit faster than this. But here's Bandos, and attack him, Berserk, boom. And uh, obviously if, we ha if I had Drygores right now, um, I would be hitting like 5Ks, but I don't have Drygores at the moment. Uh, because they are in my bank, and I'm not praying for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, that might affect it too, but as you can... Oh, holy crap. And make sure you don't die. Of course, when you are wearing War Priest, you're going to get pre hit pretty hard. So, um, there you go. And that's the Bandos kill done right there. Let's see if we get anything good. Coins and Org Bones. But anyway, that's about all for this guide, guys. I'm done with Bandos for today. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you use that adrenaline, uh, adrenaline stall trick because people will constantly try to crash you at Bandos for some reason. Um, and no one will be able to crash you if you have Dragors. And if you have Chaotix, then no one who doesn't have Dragors will be able to crash you. But anyway, thanks for watching and farewell.